What's up guys, it is Frankie here. It is the divisional round of the 2020-2021 NFL season. It's time to make your predictions. 24 teams are gone. We are down to the final eight. Let's see who makes it to the conference championship games. We start off with the Rams and Packers. The Packers are seven-point favorites. The Packers, of course, uh, had a bye. The Rams just came off a win against Seattle. Looking at this game here, there is some question marks here with the Rams. We do expect Goff to play. We do expect uh, Donald to play. The question is, how good is Goff going to be? Uh, we don't know about that thumb. It looked like it was uh, uh, on Saturday. So I say that continues here. Um, and even if it doesn't continue, I just think Green Bay is just too just too dynamic on their offensive uh, side of the ball. Um, I mean, you, you do have to worry about the Rams secondary. That's the one part uh, that, that concerns you. Um, if you're a Packers fan, is how good the Rams secondary is. If they shut down Adams. But... If you look at Green Bay, even if they have that problem, they still have Aaron Jones. Uh, and if, again, if there's anybody to to get to that Rams secondary, it's it's going to be Aaron Rodgers. Um, so again, you got Rodgers there, Jones, Adams. The, the Packers offense just looks way too explosive, and there's still some questions here that I have about the Rams. Um, again, even they're a fine team, but I thought like Green Bay has been an excellent team all season long, uh, especially here late. So I'm going to say Green Bay seven point favorite. I say Green Bay takes it, and Green Bay heads back to the NFC Championship game for the second year in a row over the Rams. Again, just really like their offense. Um, Rams' offense is fine, but Green Bay's offense has is, is been really special this season. Give me the Packers here. Minus seven over the Rams. The Ravens and the Bills. The Bills are two and a half point favorites. I think this line went down because I think it was Bills minus four and a half um, uh, uh, yesterday. And it's gone down to two. Um, I'm that's guessing that's respect there to Baltimore and how hot they've been. Uh, Baltimore getting their first playoff win in a while as they defeated a Tennessee. Uh, the Bills uh, beating Indianapolis. So, um, yeah, two teams who have not won a playoff game in a while. The Ravens, I think, like five, six years. The Bills, much longer. But this is this might be... I mean, we got some good quarterback matchups uh, this week. I mean, Golf Rodgers in the last game. This one, Lamar versus Josh Allen. Josh Allen becoming... You can maybe say an elite quarterback in this league. Um, Lamar has been... The defending MVP was just razor hot at the end of the year here. Two young dual threat quarterbacks, um, and it's it, it, it's close. It's a close battle. And Baltimore again has looked so much like a better team, like such a better team here in the second half of the year. You have Lamar there, Lamar there with his dual threat ness, if that's the word you want to use. Um, being able to throw, being able to run, um, made some great runs against um, Indianapolis uh, or Tennessee. But Allen made some good runs against Indianapolis as well. But if I had to get the edge here, I think. The Bills will win this one. Uh, Bills are at home, so I think that will uh, help help a little bit there. There will be fans there. Um, Allen being able to throw the ball a little bit uh, down uh, deep. Um, the Bills' defense, I think, has a, is just slightly better, especially in the secondary. So, and I will not blame the Ravens if they lose this game because I think the Bills are better. The last two playoff games that Lamar lost, you can sit there and go, "All right, Lamar was terrible." Um, you know, Lamar, the, the Ravens are maybe better than those teams. This not happen. I think the Bills are better. Um, I ex I expect a good performance from Lamar. Um, I don't know about throwing, but I do expect a good running game from him. Uh, but I think it will not be enough because I think Josh Allen um, and Stephon Diggs will contribute um, big time here to Buffalo's win. So it'll be a close, tough type game. But in the end, Buffalo gets the edge, gets the win, and Buffalo heads to the AFC Championship game for the first time in a long time, probably since the '90s. Can't think of a time in the 2000s or 2010s. So like, I guess it'll be the first time in since the '90s the Bills will make the AFC Championship game. I think they will do that here. Give me the Bills, minus two and a half. Browns and Chiefs. The Chiefs are 10-point favorites. I, If you've been watching the show, you know that I've picked the Chiefs many, many times. And I've been burnt many, many times. For some reason, late here in the season, the Chiefs, in the second half of the season especially, the Chiefs did not cover the spread at all. I don't know why that was. Because they're a dominant team, but they just did not cover the spread for, for some weird reason. And... I expect Kansas City to win this game. You have Mahomes rested. You have Hill rested. Kelsey rested. Um, and I, I just think that they are going to be... I, 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 I've said all year I think Kansas City is the best team in football. Um, they look like they, It looks like they've cooled off the Jets at, the, at later in the season just because like they, they knew they had it in the bag. Um, but yeah, they are when they're on, nobody can stop them. I think that will happen here. But I'm not ready to give them the... I'm not going to say Chiefs minus 10 because I think the Browns... I'm really buying the Browns here, especially after what we saw yesterday against Pittsburgh. Um, Baker Mayfield has stepped up his game. And you have the running abilities of Hunt and Chubb who you know come through. Um, and again, 10 points is a lot of points. 
Now, if, if any team can cover, it's Kansas City. But I am thinking that the Browns uh, are going to make this close. And I, I hope so. You know, again, another great quarterback matchup here. Baker Mayfield, Patrick Mahomes, two uh, uh, young quarterbacks, two, 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 two rising stars in this league. But Mahomes is already a star, and B- Baker is becoming that. So... And I, I think the Kansas City is going to get through uh, Cleveland secondary in this game, but in the end, um, I think I, I think Cleveland will cover it. Make, Mayfield will make a couple big plays, and uh, again, the running game will uh, help out Cleveland there. They'll cover the spread, but in the end, Kansas City I think will head back to the AFC Championship game for what the third year in a row. So let's see what happens here. But I'm taking the Browns. Give me the Browns plus ten over the Chiefs. And finally, Buccaneers and Saints. The Saints are three point favorites. This is. This is uh, this might be a Mount Rushmore game here. Breeze and Brady, two of the greatest of all time. They are the top two in every big quarterback stat. Um, maybe Drew Breeze' last game. Drew Breeze's it looks like last postseason, and and if they lose here, his last game. I thought about this one for a minute. Tough. I mean, we've seen the Saints lose horrible games in the postseason, heartbreaking games, um, coming off a boring victory to the Bears. Um, and the Buccaneers, um, you know, uh, coming off a win against Washington. Thought about it. It's it's tough. It's, it, I mean, the Bucks do have Brady. They have Mike Evans. They have Gronk. Um, and so I thought about taking New Orleans here, or Tampa Bay right here. But at the same time, looking at New Orleans, I think they are just the more put together team right now. Um, they have the better defense. Uh, the offensive line will come through. Um, you have Kamara, um, and you have Michael Thomas. We'll see what Breeze can do. And the Saints have beaten the Bucks twice this year. And not only did they beat them twice, they blew them out both times. I don't think that's going to happen this time. I think Brady will keep it closer. But in the end, I still think New Orleans will get the win. They'll still pull out the win. And the Saints will, will get it done here. It's, 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 it's going to be a tough game. I'm going to love watching this game. Because even if it's two guys way past their prime, Brady, Brady's still pretty great. Uh, Breeze, not so much. Even if that's the case, it's just going to be... This is the last time we're going to see these two quarterbacks go at it. We haven't seen many of it, but we're going to see it's the last time. And it's going to be, you know, again, two of the greatest. And maybe Drew Brees is the last game. So I'm interested. That's going to be the marquee game all week. That's going to be the game everybody's going to be talking about. But in the end, I think New Orleans, with the all-around better team, will get the victory uh, over Tampa Bay. And Drew Brees will make it back to the NFC Championship game over um, over the Buccaneers here. It'll be interesting to see what happens uh, going forward with uh, both of these quarterbacks and both of these offseasons and all that. But here for just this game, New Orleans gets it done. Give me the Saints, minus three over Tampa. So those are my predictions for the divisional round. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to this channel and you like what you see, make sure you subscribe down below for more content just like this every single week. I will be back later tonight, breaking down right after Alabama, Ohio State, right after the national championship game. I'm going to be back breaking it all down, post-game live reaction. Hope to see you guys there. Take care and God bless.